Be confident. Oh no, I keep picking up that black over that. I should have put this white on that rod and been able to switch back and forth. But I'm not that smart. I started to cut it and was like. Oh. He came through like a hammer. Um, that That's a coal. <laughs> I wasn't going to net it because it didn't look very big, but it. That coal something. Hey, y'all. Just wrapping up a couple days on the Delta. Um, had a club tournament out there. Ended up with fourth place overall. It was a tough bite for us. Um, managed to scrape some together, but uh, not as good as I'd like it to be. Uh, I think it's because we're kind of getting into that late summer, early fall transition. I mean, the, the leaves are starting to drop. So, um, what did work best for us was underspin uh, going near the weed edges. Yeah. I might call something. I think that might yeah, call. You're gonna get rid of my one fish is about that size. I was so happy about. <laughs> that underspin was the ticket for Saturday. We just covered a lot of water. Um, kept chucking and whining, kept chucking and whining, and you'd run across them. Um, no big ones, but enough to get a decent limit. Um, Sunday, though, that underspin was not going. That weather changed, and we ended up picking up a Cinco, and that Cinco was the ticket. I'm scared to hit them. I'm hitting them like I hit a drop shot. I'm not hitting them like a Cinco. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go. Don't, bro. Yeah, you do. Even Steven now. His turn and he got him. Oh, this one's got some weight for him. Okay, okay. That's a real fish. We're going to go. Three. Now we're mainly throwing that Cinco in the uh, pockets of basically the weeds or the tulies, um, or as you can see there, there's the uh, uh, the overgrowth on the water, and you were throwing up into that edges, and they were picking it up and swimming out to deeper water. Um, basically, just again covering water, getting as much there, and then when you do catch something, focus in that area. Now, of course, you can't have time on the water, in the summer, on the Delta, without picking up a frog. That's the, that's the big one today. Sadly. He exploded on it too. Huh? You I, think, think, I, I think, think he was hungry. I think he wanted it. Choked it, it baby. Now, that frog seems to work best at certain times of the day. It wasn't an all day thing. Uh, again, back on those tule edges, weed edges. Um, there was a lot of fish that came up and swirled on it. They never actually ate it. They'd come up and bump it. They wouldn't actually commit. There was other people who were able to get them to commit. I was slowing the frog down as I would get swirls. And that worked for some people. For other people, they were speeding it up and forcing them to make a decision. And they were coming up and eating it. Um basically don't be afraid to cover water don't be afraid to um change your cadences go slower go faster and that's true for all of them cinco underspin frog 
Um, we threw some other stuff through Chatterbait. It didn't quite pan out for us. Um, it mainly was those three things. Um, so that water is still warm right now, but the nights are getting cooler. So I'm guessing we're starting to swing into that fall time. Um, I hope that helped you guys. If it does, let me know down below. Um, and until next time, I hope you get them. <laughs> oh, that's not going to show up in the video. That sucks. It might show up in the back one. I teleported that bad boy. Think of the day. Oh.